It's a great time for tourism. Jersey celebrating the best holiday visitor numbers for many years. And we have so many people to thank for that. From accommodation providers, heritage sector, the attractions, to retail, our partners overseas, and the unsung heroes, the public employees who keep our countryside, our beaches, our town, our villages safe, clean and beautiful. 2017 was a good year, but we're not resting on our laurels. It's just the start of the race and 2018 will bring additional campaigns and strategies to build on this positive growth. We'd like to thank our board for their support, but most importantly, the Visit Jersey staff who are working really hard with our industry colleagues to help the world fall in love with Jersey. Hello and welcome to a whistle-stop tour through Jersey's 2017 tourism performance. We welcomed 727,000 visitors to the island, who between them spent 2.9 million nights here contributing £250 million to our local economy. In so doing, generating £12 million in GST that can be reinvested in local services such as health and education. Visitors come to Jersey for all sorts of reasons, but last year most were here for a holiday, and 85% of holiday visitors spend at least one night on the island. It was the fourth straight year in which the number of people choosing Jersey as a holiday destination has increased. With excellent connections, including eight EasyJet routes, it's hardly a surprise that most visitors are Brits. France is in second place, and the bronze medal goes to Guernsey, an award given to Germany in terms of visitor spending. More than two-thirds of visitors reach us by air, but ferry services remain an important way of getting here especially for visitors from France. How do they know all that, I hear you ask? Good question. As you might expect, the ports of Jersey have very accurate figures on the number of passengers leaving the airport and the harbour. But as often gets pointed out to us, those figures include islanders as well as visitors. That's why we use an independent research agency to conduct an exit survey. This establishes the proportion of passengers on each route that are islanders and the proportion that are visitors. It also allows us to quiz visitors in a bit more detail about their trip. To do this, a hardy band of interviewers undertake shifts at the airport and the harbour, sometimes starting before dawn, sometimes finishing at dusk. Interviewing takes place on different days of the week each month of the year to ensure that those we talk to are representative. If we only interviewed on Saturdays in summer, we would get a very different result to only interviewing on Wednesdays in winter, and both answers would be wrong. In total, there are 36,000 interviews annually to establish the number of visitors, with a further 8,500 in-depth interviews about visitors' island experience. All of this data makes it much easier for us to understand why visitors come to Jersey and helps us build on recent growth to ensure that in the future, even more people get to enjoy Jersey for themselves.